Oh, you're back. Could you give me an allowance? All right, thanks. What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing my exploration of Skyrim. Ah, uh, this is a good game. I enjoy it, and the Xbox Series X just makes the graphics that much more insanely phenomenal. Uh, this current um, walkthrough I'm going to do is of Serpent's Bluff Redoubt. And it's a Forsworn readout. Uh, Elizabeth, the shopkeeper in Markarth of Elfies and Sons or whatever it is, had asked my character to recover her shipment. And that is what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Sabertooth Tiger, and I'm going to candlelight him. Anyway, uh, she asks my character to find her shipment, and it's located in this readout, which has a lot of Forsworn and, how shall I say, some Hag Raven and other character creatures, whatever. It's a kind of a nice uh, readout and a nice walkthrough. You get a lot of magic treasure, and it can be done fairly, how shall I say, difficulty, but not real easy. Let's get on with the task at hand. Serpent's Bluff Redoubt is outside of Rorikstead, and you got to walk to it. There's other areas and uh, places of note around it, but Sneaking up on it can be difficult if you don't have a high sneak level. My character has been spotted. He's staying away out of range. I'm trying to circle around and come in a little easier. And look where the Forsworn are, who are trying to shoot. There's a guy there. And I'm going to try and switch to a bow and take him on in a duel of bows. I got a better bow than him and does more damage. Yep, my archery is increasing. And now another guy is coming who I'm going to take down with a bow as well. And then move into the camp and take down the force one. I know my character has progressed. I can take down a Briarheart pretty easily. Now, this camp actually contains some interesting things. There is a map that shows the location of all the Forsworn redoubts within the Reach. And 
other things within Skyrim locations and it's interesting but not very informative then it's got some death bell and some other stuff or nightshade and you go into the tents and there's various things there's this note that discusses the matriarch and getting the tribes together to take over the reach and if the tribes don't get together, the matriarch is going to find someone who will get things done. And, you know, it's one of those where it gives you some information. The dresser, nothing in there worth taking. You don't take iron weapons of any type unless they're enchanted. Now the master chest here, eh, not much. They got a healing potion, a deer hide. Again, it varies. But you got to look around, and there's a coin purse right here. And there's other parts of this encampment. The tents I've already gone through. Over here is a forge, and you go into this tent. And unlock a yeah apprentice lock, and you wind up with taking a little more time than I anticipated. Yeah, this is why I kind of don't like playing like a civilian in a sense, and I use that term civilian because I played this game so much, I know how to exploit it. Okay, a few minor things in the knapsack. I could create a ring that would allow me to pick any lock easily. But then it becomes less and less of a challenge and more boring. Let's see what's on the table here. Iron Warhammer, Dwarven Great Sword that you take. There's value there. Uh, yeah, you could forge if you had the ability to do, which I do. But now you walk around here. And nothing in this tent. Oh, wait, some nightshade. And walk up here, and you enter into nothing in here you can take. But you enter into a dungeon. And this is where things get interesting. Serpent Bluff runes. And like any dungeon, I go in sneaky sneaky. With first person view and a bow, try and take the enemy out quickly. Search through these sacks. Salt piles are always good. Cabbage, nope. Work my way down here. Hanging moss, always good. What's on the table here? Mad Men of the Reach. Book tells the story of the Forsworn. Oh, filter of magic resistance, hunting bowl. Now, down this hall, you got to be careful. There's this guy in a chair, and you can kill him at a distance. And he's dead two times damage sneak attack, so he's dead quickly. And now you got to be careful. And you just sneak down here. You're covered by these. It, ah, there's a tripwire. That would have killed you or hurt you. Now, here's the interesting part. You see these Forsworn and Hagraven? Well, now you can start shooting them and they never come after you. And that is it for anyone who is, oh, there's trip wire here, who cares? But you've taken down all four sworn in this location. There's a mace here, dwarven mace. I'll take that. What does this guy have on him? 
my arrow, I'll take that. Then you come through here, and you got to be careful because there's a trap. And that trap is right here. You step on it, but you don't move forward, and it's a log trap. Pressure plate right here. You go around it. What's in this dresser? Blood covered dresser? Nothing. Oh, salt piles. You take those. Now you come through to the main hall. You've killed everyone. There's really nothing else around. You come to this altar. And what you want to do is you see this button? You take a wooden bowl or one of these ruined books and you pick it up and you put it on top of this button and set it on top of this button. Why do you do that? Well, it opens a door at the top of these stairs. If you see, I'll, I'll hit candlelight to give a better view. And at the top of these stairs are the four sworn you killed. I'll take my arrow back. And the hag raven. And this guy. Now, this door that's, well, now I take the spell tomb frostbite off, but this door here would normally be locked. And if you look further back at the in the first part of the video where I shoot them, they're locked. And you go through into this small hallway. I'm going to take all the uh, alchemy ingredients just because I can sell them and make potions with them. But you come into here and you have an arcanum, arcane enchanter, a book that increases your enchanting skills. And I'm going to take a look around here. There's some soul gems. Grand, I don't know if they're filled. Take these, take that. Ingredients, take a book that's worth taking. This one, bone meal, worth taking. Search the cupboard, nothing worth taking. And then the master chest. This is where you have Elizabeth's. Elizabeth's statue, gold, scroll, spell tomb, steel plated armor of health, and a jade and emerald circuit, circle, circlet. And now, um, let's see, go through all this. Soul gems. Yeah, I'm going to dump any soul gems that are not filled into this chest because I don't need them. These two, yeah, I don't need. There's some petty, I think I left them, but who cares? Now I'll see if I can disenchant or enchant something. Nothing to disenchant. What can I enchant? The Dwarven Great Sword, if you put fear on it, it makes it more valuable. And. The other one is, uh, I forget, some sort of uh, Daedra fearful thing, but I'm doing the mace, putting fear on it. Again, fear raises the enchantment, and I'll keep the grand soul gem for myself to enchant something else. Now you can leave this dungeon, and what do I have? I want to make sure these books, anything I can just dump. Frostbite I can use. Fear I can use. Or is it Fury? Either way. Walk through here. Nope. Potatoes. Nothing over here. I'll check to double check. Yep, a potion. And now, time to get out of here. And thing is, with this one, once you get out of the dungeon... You get a beautiful view of the valley, and it's really a nice view once you leave the Skyrim here. Look at that view. Isn't it great? It's wonderful. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. 
just doing this walkthrough of Serpent's Bluff Readout. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you really like this type of video, I put four out a week, and you want to be informed and you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and the videos I post will come up in your uh, whatever feed that is for YouTube. Again, I'm Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for, su for subscribing. Please feel free to leave a comment. And thanks for stopping by.